48 now and CBS 46 is your school authority with the start of the new school year right around the corner. A lot of parents are trying to make sure their children are equipped with hand sanitizers and face coverings. But how prepared are your children mentally for all of these changes? Here's CBS 46's Rebecca Schramm with some advice from a child psychiatrist. For many Metro Atlanta families, playtime with friends doesn't look much like this anymore. Families have tried to keep their kids apart for months to try to slow the spread of the coronavirus. But in the weeks ahead, depending on how close they live to a hot spot, Georgia children gradually will begin heading back into their school buildings. It's understandable that kids getting back into the groove of school um, is going to be something that, that produces some anxiety. Dr. Larry Mittenall is an expert on child mental health and physical health and a national volunteer for the American Heart Association. He says research shows that mental stress can affect a child's physical health. Stress hormones, he says, can lead to inflammation, which raises the risk of developing chronic diseases such as heart disease. And I think sometimes kids read our emotions as parents as well um, and our concerns about how the school transition will be or what will be expected of us. The American Heart Association suggests some ways parents can keep their kids occupied and entertained during the crisis. Stay heart healthy with dance routines, jump rope skills, and family game days. Inspire your kids to help in the kitchen and sneak in more veggies while you're at it. And engage in meaningful conversations about gratitude and family health. He says if you get any clues that your child seems anxious about what lies ahead, you've got to communicate. Talking about it actually brings light to the subject and where there's light, there's a chance for hope and figuring out um, a solution or plan to, um, to, to address it. Rebecca Schramm, CBS 46 News.